Don't even think about it. I found this place first. Okay, hold up, dog. <laughs> hold up, before you get crazy, I mean, do you want to try it? Do you really want to try it, is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, all right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little banger by the name of I Will Be There. Now, I first ran into this one, I want to say sometime last year, two years tops at the most. Uh, you have to forgive me, time. I've lost all conception of time nowadays. But it's essentially a game that's very hard to describe. In some ways, it reminds me of Cursed, in that at least the combat, the fighting styles are very similar to that. Also, we're going to be looking for things like kind of like in a set area, like in Curse, and we get to pick things up, interact with them, use them from inventory. But it's also going to be a post-apocalyptic zombie road trip. So it also kind of has a bit of an Oregon Trail type of thing where we're supposed to keep ourselves fed for this uh, road trip. Make sure that our RV is running condition while also dealing with zombies, raiders, bandits. You know the drill at this point, right? Uh, here we got five points to distribute. One thing I would like is if uh, it gave me kind of an idea of what these things affected. You know, like, yeah, I, I could see their endurance, wisdom, and strength, and marksmanship. I can imagine what at least marksmanship and strength would do. Would wisdom be for, like, you know, talking checks with other people? Who knows? Endurance more energy or HP, perhaps? Well, we got five of them. Let's go with uh, strength. Give me some of that. <laughs> Wisdom? Do I need wisdom? When do I ever? I mean... I kind of want to go either fighter or lucky. Let me go fighter, just because it kind of complements maybe that brutish style that we have going on here with the No wisdom, no strength. With some choices in life, I lost what I had. And with some choices, it was never mine. Now, I am curious, are we ever going to get sound here, or... You know, a little bit of ambient noise or something? There we go, okay. I'm hearing some ambient noises now. Huh. A place with electricity. Must be a generator inside. But why leave the lights on in the night? That's unsettling. And we get to move forward. You know, it's gonna be like screen by screen, so it kinda has that old school, like the first curse game, really. Maybe the second one too, a little bit? I don't like this. This place can turn into a zombie magnet very fast. Okay, I'll just check this place out and head back to the RV. Okay, let's see here. So you can see the HUD above, yada yada yada. Inventory. Tab, okay, we got ourselves a knife. A bullet. Or a gun. Not the bullet, that's the actual gun itself. I know you don't know, I know you don't know about guns too much, but you could tell a gun from a bullet. Uh, but no bullets for our gun, I should say. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pick up some chips. I can do that. And consume them now? Well, am I really that hungry? I'm only at 90. I could wait. Alright. Anything else around here? Let's move forward. Oh, this, this dude is having a stroke here or something. Help! My inhaler! In the top drawer, please. Do I... Do I trust this man, or...? I mean, it doesn't seem like he's going to do much to me, but he could just be there as bait, you know? Like... Just go in there or act like you're hurt, old man, then we'll just ambush this guy from behind. Well, at least I think we got some bullets. That makes me happy. And the inhaler. Oh, thank you, son. I'm Tom. Oh, let me catch my breath. These people plundered my shop. Now I have nothing left. My daughter was waiting for me at the Western Bunker. No. Oh. This was such a mistake. I shouldn't have stopped by here. Oh, okay, C calm down. We may help each other. I need some fuel, but... First, tell me, who are these guys you're talking about? A gang. They left, but one of them is still here. In the back. Don't even think about it. I found this place first. Okay, hold up, dog. <laughs> hold up, before you get crazy, I mean, do you want to try it? Do you really want to try it, is all I'm going to say. 
I'm the one with the door key. I can share. Think about it. You think you're smart. Oh, here we go. No, it's even showing us a little preview of the zombies. Am I am I hurting this man or am I am I getting hurt? Okay, I brought him down. How much health did we have? Because I'm at 17 right now. I'm not sure this guy was um, hurting me a lot too. He left me no choice. All right, that one was a bit too quick. Let's see what we got here. Is that a flashlight we could probably use? No. I mean, it seems to be fairly lit. This will keep me going for a while. Time to head back. Now it's raining outside. I do kind of like this look. You know, it's just very... I don't know. Come. It's got a lot of soul in it, you know? It gives me a bit of nostalgia, I guess, in a sense, too. Although this is a little bit kind of creepy at the same time, but... At least the art style that I'm utilizing. Who is this? Hey. Are you hurt? I I'm okay. Don't get any closer. Alright. With this weather, we don't stand a chance. Come with me, I have an RV. Oh, I'm sure she's jumping for joy at that. Really? Here? Yeah, very close. Just trust me, come on. How much for never talking to strangers, huh? Not that you have much of a choice, I guess, in a zombie apocalypse with the weather like that, zombies out there, and I'm not sure what that... Was that a girl? I'm not sure if that was a little girl or not. The rain has stopped. Let's step inside. Come on. So this is going to be our RV that we're going to have to travel with and keep situated as we travel. Where are we headed? I, I want my family. They're at Shelter 23. No, relax. That's on my route. I can take you to them. Really? Thanks. Thank you. My name is, uh, Deb. Check battery, look outside. Upgrade the RV. Remaining spare parts so we can upgrade the bed to get a better sleep. Maybe recover more HP that way. Upgrade the microwave to get more nutrition from the meal and the faucets to have filtered much cleaner water. We got nothing right now, but that's very interesting. So it's kind of like I told you, like a bit of a Oregon Trail, uh, Oregon Trail. I was about to call it Oregon Trailer because we're in an RV, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so that's our introduction. Day one. Everything here, I guess, we're good with. Let's just hit the road. Check fuel. Halfway there. So that's what we got from Homeway Hook the Sub, huh? Check map. Roughly 2,400 more miles to go. Is that for the girl or for our... I mean, she's on the way, right? So maybe it's for ours. Of course, we don't know why we're on the road. I guess we'll probably find out. I imagine that picture of her wife might have something to do with it. There's a bag here. I hope there's something useful in it. Uh, yeah, let's search. So our HP is now at 23. Speaking of which, I mean, how high could that go? Should I use these bandies? This will also stop bleeding and also prevent any possible infection. No, we should probably hold on until we get some bleeding to take care of, huh? Our hunger seems to just move on a real-time basis, though. And our stamina. Oh, that's interesting. So you're kind of in a bit of a timer. We got some food, though. That's great. Always here to find some stuff to store in my RV. It looks like there has been a skirmish. Some ammunitions lying around the corpse. You're not wrong about that. Keep driving. So would that constitute an entire day on the road? I should take Deb to her family. Yes, that's, that's what we're doing. Can we look outside right now in the storm? I could step outside. Okay. Oh, it's quite dangerous. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, uh... I'm, I'm good. I, I was just kind of curious, you know. That's it. Anything to say, Deb? My parents must have been very worried by now. I can imagine that being kidding. Alright, let's see about... Read a book too. Let's just go to sleep. I want to see if that HP would go up beyond 23. Yeah. So 30 would probably be top, so I thought it would be. Oh, that's fine. Mood is 99, stamina is 97. We're good. As a matter of fact, let's see if we could, uh... 
Put the last two in there. Perfect. But go with m melee first. Check fuel. Alright, we're still good. This RV gets a lot of good mileage, apparently. How much do we travel? N nothing? <laughs> what do you mean 2,400 more? That's what we started at. Alright. Travel the entire day, no, no miles covered whatsoever. Find that hard to believe, let me tell you. Oh, we can actually go into this place, huh? Alright, let's do it. Exane. I should search this place. Looks empty, but you never know. Oh, come on, that was it? Only one thing to check? I wish I'd find a stash full of medicine, but it's unlikely. We're coming up on all sorts of bullets in the world, though. Not that it's really too useful for me, considering I'm melee focused. Oh, we got the girl home. So now we have a lot of traveling by ourselves to do. Dad, thank God you're here. Dad, um, this is Tyler. He saved my life. Nice to meet you, Tyler. I'm Carlos. Thank you for saving my daughter. Is there anything we can do to help you? Come, join us for dinner. Uh, thank you. I just need to be on the road. No, no, I mean, I don't mind a free meal, Doug. Did you see my, my hunger? It was like under half. Where are you headed? Uh, Portland. Hmm. Northwest, huh? To the absolute west, huh? It's a long road from here, even on wheels. In this awful world, what is it that makes you go all the way? My loved one. She's there. Oh, I see. Funny thing, I did once travel that much for Deb's mother. Before, you know, all this happened. So we're in Portland, if you don't mind. Downtown. I know where she is. You do? How do you know she's there right now? It's her home. Where else would she be? I mean... Imagine a world with zombies and a post apocalypse people move around quite a bit, maybe. Tyler, this romantic reunion is slowly starting to sound like a suicide mission. That's right. What if she's not there? I... I just have to try. I'll be fine. As a family that has just known me, you have already worried enough about me. You're passing through Chicago, aren't you? Find my older brother there. He'll be glad to help you. This is the least I can do. Here's the address. Oh, sure. I'll make sure to this road trip over here to my wife to stop by on all of Chicago to your brother's house. Oh, and take these spare parts. They may come in kind of handy. Much appreciated. Stay safe. Goodbye, Dad. Alright, so we got ourselves a first skill point here. Um, what do we go with? Probably, if, if we're going endurance being HP, let's go with a little bit more endurance then. We are rather hungry. I need to rest. And also get some food in us. So, let's see about cooking ourselves some meal. Kind of curious how much this, um, oh, you know, we should probably have. Well, I'm not sure if I want to upgrade the, the micro with a part that we got. But at least her butt is at 50, I think, roughly, right? That's not too bad. Let's see about upgrading our RV. We got one part. Get better sleep, microwave, or cleaner water. See, I don't know what the water does. This is a problem. I kind of want to go microwave, and that's the case, and I should have probably upgraded it before I cooked the meal. Let's just go bed then. <laughs> I'm going to do bed just because I would feel foolish if I upgrade the microwave after I cook the meal, you know? This is basically me being stubborn. I will not have any of it. I'll be stubborn the entire way through. Let's uh, go to sleep. I guess we only have to read a book if our mood is down. Right now we're looking pretty good all around, so. Now starts our solo journey. No more dab. Maybe now we get some zombos here, huh? Zombie game, we haven't even seen one. No, our health's still at 30. So I'm not sure what Endurance did. Oh well. Check map. <laughs> oh, 50 miles. Okay, well, at least it's something. Fuel? Mmm, it's not too good. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get an eye. <gasps> this area's become dangerous. I cannot leave. Alright, we're finding the facade zombie. I want to see if I could step outside and loot around here, but apparently not. Okay, let's uh, hit the road, Jack. Oh. An old man is offering some, well, let's call it a first aid kit in exchange for two bottles of water. Fortunately, I got none. I'm surprised there's no option to, like, you know, take it by force. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Do you need a mech kit and would you kill this man for a mech kit? You don't need no falcon. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. No, I probably wouldn't do that. But some other people might, okay? And they might want to have that option, so I'm gonna throw it out there. This area looks like he can find some mushrooms. I mean, look, he wants to go... He wants to drop some shrooms, a couple of caps, and then he'll go and find the bomb and kill him for the band-aids, you see? I found one, but I'm not sure if it's edible. Maybe I should leave it here. Well, you know what they say, right? Who dares wins? It was delicious. I feel great. <laughs> All right. We even got some, like, you know, stock motion, you know, three frames per second FMV quality video there. And we filled up completely, so that's pretty good. The service mechanic is offering me full engine repair, full tank up, and tire exchange for three bags of potato chips, apparently? Oh, man. That's a good freaking deal. Are you kidding me? Especially with our fuel, how it is right now, but I don't got that. Did I go hunt for it? No, sorry, I can't take that amazing deal. I must hold on to my lace potato chips, you understand? Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, wait, wait. Um, where is the drawer? Hey. <gasps> I can't see a damn thing. Should we try to see what happens? <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Bad idea. Oh, so we actually could go out at night to pillage. Well, see, I didn't even know about this. The only reason I even died is I wanted to do it because I saw a zombie. I figured we'd get some combat in here. I wonder who dropped this bag. Let's see what's inside. Yo. And I can just continue? I mean, how do, how do I get back to my vehicle, though? Because I don't know where I'm going, dude. <gasps> here we go. Take, take your, uh... Yeah. Oh! Did I guard? Oh, I guard. Oh, ble bleeding now. Bleeding. And my mood is terrible now, too. Uh... Yo, I, I get the feeling I'm, uh, I'm actually literally lost. Oh, God, I gotta use this already, don't I? Okay. How do I get back? I found an entrance. This building may provide great danger or reward. Walk back to the RV. I don't know about this one, boys, but you know what? <gasps> Wants to take everything I got. Set the dead man. Oh, look at this dude. Let him. So, am I assuming that we're not gonna get good rewards here? It was just indeed danger. Okay, no, no, we got, we got it back. I'm thinking he's gonna pick this up. Water. I mean, was it worth it for water though? Nah, not quite, I don't think. Another door that goes deeper into the building. Oh, man. Don't do it! Ha! I, uh, I regret everything. I'm not sure if the blocking is, like, timed. Oh, God, we're bleeding again. If it's like time-based where I'm supposed to hold right-click to kind of like block it, 
Like it was kind of like a bit of a parry. One thing I can tell you is that we're 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 quickly dying. <gasps> okay, we're we're literally dead now. Does anything here help me? Oh boy. There's a case. Bullets. Let me get back. Let me get back. Give me the whack to walk back to every walk back. Walk back. Hey. <laughs> Check medicine. I don't got any medicine. No! Come on! I wanted to see if maybe we could watch it off. I don't think watching off would have done anything. Oh man, that's uh it's brutal. It's it's janky. It's oh man. I I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't know about it. I just the the combat, I'm not sure if you're supposed to like block like when they're it doesn't there's like not like with curse to leave with a curse you could kind of have like tell signs like when to like move. Like you're you know, most of the combat that there was like, you know, Mike Tyson's punch out, you could like when to bob and weave, allegedly. Here it just seems like the zombies and the dudes are just like in one animation. So I'm not sure what part of the animation that they're doing you're supposed to allegedly block. And if it's supposed to be kind of like a time thing, or you're supposed to just hold it. To be honest with you, clicking on right click or holding it down wasn't really doing much. Like, it was just the same animation on your end no matter what. So, either way, let me know what you guys think about this one. For me personally, it feels rough around the edges. Maybe I'm just being unfair because it was my very first run, so I did garbage, obviously. Now I know I could search at night, that might make it a little bit easier, but uh, I feel like the, that word kind of fails, that is the combat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.